In the news, six bodies found hanging in violence reading Zacatecas. Morocco Israel signed first ever defense agreement in Rabat. Court suspends Benzema for one year. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Merciful Ajinamo, and you are watching TOS News 360. According to Mexican state security, three corpses were found suspended from a pedestrian bridge and three others were strung up in a tree. Two more bodies were located on a piece of land in Fresnilo, authorities said, without specifying whether they were also found hanging. The tactic is often used by gangs to intimidate rivals. United States Department spokesman Ned Price on Wednesday said the U.S. is set to commence talks with the Taliban next week in Qatar on humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan and measures to ensure that the country does not become a launchpad for terrorism. According to Price, the delegation will be led by the U.S. Special Representative for Afghanistan, Tom West, for the planned two weeks of discussions. Former Governor of Kwara, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has declared his intention to contest for president in the 2023 general elections. Saraki revealed his intention during his visit to the Governor of Benue State, Simon Otom, on Tuesday in Makudi. According to the report, Saraki was in Makudi with former Governor of Kogi State, Idris Wada, former National Chairman of the PDP, Kawu Baraji, Senator Suleiman Adukwe, and the Chairman of Council, Saraki for President Campaign, Professor Iowese Haga. President Mohamed Buhari has ordered for the immediate suspension of the inauguration of the newly appointed board of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited till further notice. This suspension was disclosed on Tuesday night in a statement issued by Boss Mustafa, the secretary to the government of the federation. The inauguration of the board was initially to hold on Wednesday, the 24th of November 2021. International alarms went off on Tuesday over the escalating war crisis in Ethiopia as Tigrayan rebels claimed to be inching closer to the capital Addis Ababa and more foreign citizens were told to leave. The United Nations stated that it is temporarily relocating families of international staff from Ethiopia due to the security situation. UN spokesman Stefan Durajik said they will continue to monitor the situation as it evolves, keeping in mind the safety of staff and the need to continue to stand and deliver and to continue operations and support all the people that need our assistance. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television, and you are watching TOS News 360. Africa business is posted when we return. Stay with us. Thanks for staying. Ethiopian Olympic heroes Haile Gebre Selassie and Feisa Lilesa on Wednesday said they are set to go to the war front. The announcement comes after Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said he would go to the front to lead the war. This is also the Tigrayan rebels say they are advancing towards the capital, Addis Ababa. And now to Somali, where Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Rabel has declared a state of emergency in the wake of the country's worsening drought. The declaration came after the Prime Minister chaired an extraordinary cabinet meeting on Tuesday. He called on the Somali people and the international community to help those affected by the drought. Israel and Morocco have signed a landmark agreement that lays the foundation for security cooperation, intelligence sharing and future arms sales. The Memorandum of Understanding between Israeli Defense Minister Benny Grant and his Moroccan counterpart Abdel Latif Ludi was signed on Wednesday in Rabat as part of the first official visit by an Israeli defense minister to one of the Arab states that normalized ties last year. And now to business news, Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria has voted to retain the monetary policy rate, which measures interest rate at 11.5%. The monetary policy rate is the baseline interest rate in an economy. Every other interest rate used within an economy is built on the monetary policy rate. 
And now to sports, a French court has handed Real Madrid striker Karim Benzema a one-year suspended sentence after he was found guilty of complicity in the attempted back blackmail of a former international teammate, Matthew Valbuena. It was gathered that Benzema was absent in court in the Paris suburb of Vasilis for the verdict, which comes hours before Real Madrid take off Sheriff Tiraspol in the Champions League game in Moldova. His defence team, however, immediately announced plans for an appeal. And that's the news updates to US News 360 on your digital first Pan African news network for more updates. Visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on the network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Thanks for watching.